Saturday the 10th of June. We're working on the uh, MG. We've got to replace the front hubs and also refit the rear brakes, re brake shoes. Uh, this is over in Long Eaton. We'll be racing in the MG live uh, meeting with the Top Shoot Cup on uh, a week today. So we need to get everything sorted out and ready. And uh, we're going to show you uh, the way we, we go through changing these front hubs, uh, JLH, uh, bigger brakes, uh, four pot uh, calipers, uh, the back's just standard. So uh, if you'll bear with us, we'll try and edit it so it's as quick as possible. But I couldn't see anything else online, so I thought it'd be good to share. New kit which you can see here, uh, JLH Motorsport. Right, rear drums, I'm going to take these off. Again, the only thing different about this is uprated springs, uh, competition half shafts, different muffler. Uh, it's got a, a limited slip and it's also got adjustable lever arms, which I'm told are like rocking horse doo doo, but uh, it does help in the wet that we can back off. Um, but uh, you'll see the Allen head screws that we need to remove to get the drums off. We've already taken the shoes off previously, but to move it, we had to put the drums back on. Um, right, okay, I'll uh, put the camera down. Zeppelin in the background, Kashmir if I'm not mistaken, from the Physical Graffiti album, which I first bought in Frankfurt, in Germany, many years ago. One good thing about race cars is, generally speaking, all the nuts and bolts have been removed so many times that we don't tend to seize up. start. I've been racing this car since the uh, I think late 80s. <coughs> right, so there we've got the drum. This has only been used at one meeting in Silverstone uh, a couple of weeks ago with the classic cars. Uh, so now we need to assemble the uh, shoes. Just uh, removing the castellated nut in the centre. This is Matt, who's uh, doing all the work while I just film. Although I'm messing about with the rears. So what's next then, Matt? Uh, I'm going to take the hub nut off. I was just trying to uh, find the size of this socket. So, uh, right, OK. Say, if I knew my imperial sockets, I'd tell you. Obviously, uh, having been racing for so many years, we know exactly how all the brakes go together. Um, however, we do have to refer to the internet, so as you can see here, uh, MG Midget rear shoes, and that tells me what I should be doing. They were probably on wrong before, but they sort of worked. Are we recording again? Right, well we've managed to get the uh, top in. Oh, look at that. I did it all on my own-ish. Uh, uh, so now we've got to put the bottom spring in. And I just hope, yeah, you can see we've fitted new adjusters, new screws and because uh, they wore slightly and I was getting uh, different adjustments side to side. So we'll continue fighting with the springs. <coughs> Gloves on. Magnetic. Right, refer to the picture. when I've done it. Okay, spring's now in. With no struggling at all. Yeah. We're just listening to a bit of uh, 
music from uh, the police force, Guns N' Roses. Uh, right, so that's all done. <laughs> now, there's on this car, we've fitted these pins that come through here. I think this is uh, stolen from an MGB idea to try and keep the pads square because I was getting the wearing across the width. But uh, yeah, that doesn't look too shabby. Right, so we've put those uh, securing pins or whatever they're called in and uh, uh, we've just got to can you put the line down a bit so you see. Uh, we will put the shoe back on and then you can do up the adjuster down the back and then that's job done. Cheers. All right, there we go. We just need to uh, talk it up and then we're all done and dusted. We'll repeat the other side. So now we're going to uh, video the front hub disassembly and, uh, and uh, fitting the new kit. So what's the order we're doing it in then, Matt? So, caliper off first, we'll hang the caliper out of the way. Just hang it up out of the way so we're not dripping great food everywhere. Um, hug that off, we'll pull the old hub off, make sure everything's good in there, perhaps clean up the stub axle if we have to, um, grease, put the new hub on, uh, bolt it all up, make sure it moves sm smoothly. Um, tighten the, the wheel bearing, um, well, we'll show, show you how we do that. And then um, take the old caliper off, new calipers on, um, build it up, and then uh, give it a bleed. Easy. Easy bleed. Simple. I didn't bring that. That's quite oh, a good we've, kit. Got, we've got lots of different uh, right. ways to bleed. Well, come on then, get okay, on with so it. So we're going to uh, crack, the, uh, crack the caliper first. You've got 50 pin battery left, man. <laughs> it's gone off again. It too long. And we should be recording. Yeah. I don't know what that was doing. 258 volts coming out of the caliper now. <clears throat> it's has his hair cut especially for this, you know. <laughs> Let's have a shave there. He claims I've got a face for radio. A bit harsh. What's that? <laughs> it is my camera though. It's not GoPro. Actually, <laughs> it's not. It's actually my son's camera. Don't really tell him that. <clears throat> There's only an hour loop on this uh, music track, unfortunately. Although Cash shows you how long he ain't up to do the rear brakes. Hey, yeah. Uh, we did have coffee. It's gone <laughs> off again. It's gone off, look. What the hell's going on? Has it gone off? Or has it just gone into oh, yeah. Blank screen mode. So you've got all that Detroit that's on camera now. Right. Yeah. <coughs> Sky up, get the camper out of the way while we're working on anything else. Look at that. Okay. Very great. Great stuff. Take the pads out. I can stay in, can't they? The old thing's got to come off. They're falling out, aren't they? And loud noise as well, we're filming. Have a look at it. Yeah. Had a bit of a hard life. A few miles left on it. Look at the different wear, though. It's a great when the head gasket goes. Yeah, <laughs> we just slow down, slow, gently. Okay, so the 15, 16, <coughs> oh, the hook. <coughs> now, is that going to pull off? Oh, look at that. Look at that. You're beautiful. Okay, so everything looks good in there. While we're at it, I suppose we ought to grease up the kingpin. We'll do that at the end, I think. Would it be easier to access it now? It would, but the grease comes over there. Alright. 
<laughs> so there's no pick, pitting, I speak, on the on the stub. So that's all nice and nice and good. Thanks. We'll, uh, we'll put some grease on there. And uh, if you look, if you look just to the left there, I did a bit of repair uh -oh. with some super glue. Oh, yeah. Don't know whether it's MOT legal, but <laughs> given that we don't normally do many MOTs on this vehicle, I was quite impressed with that. That's some high temperature grease going on now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bits included. Yeah. Is that grinding paste you've got in with that? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so we will get Now, wasn't there a mention about there being a sleeve or a spacer? Yeah, spacer's there, look. But it fit the tuna spacer. It fit the bearing properly as well. The seal's all not there. Stuff, but then he goes, look. Wonderful. Uh, bolt the castellated nut up now. I begin to think I could have done this myself. It's very straightforward. I just make it look straightforward. Yeah, of course. Years of we did, we, the instructions came with the uh, JLH kit, and as you can see, it seemed. Start. Yes, <laughs> we've lost them. No, they're somewhere around. But uh, yeah, I'm most impressed with the kit. We'll see how obviously the braking works when we uh, get to Silverstone. But uh, now they said something about not over tightening that. So we're not over tightening the, the wheel nut. The hook, no. I'm sorry. Um, we just want to take out all the clay out of the uh, out of the bearing. And I think what we'll do, we'll just leave it at that for now. It's spinning nice and freely. It doesn't appear to be any play in the hub, but. Until we get the, the brake that's gonna maybe in the wheel on, we won't be able to tell for certain, so uh, we'll sort that out at the end. Uh, so, uh, I think we'll fit the caliper next, just so we're not interfering with the disc at the moment. So, we need a spanner there. Is this where the uh, fluid... Um, this where the fluid leaks out, so... It's a hand. <coughs> so, 716. As this French say, uh -huh. it will be pizzoiring out. Yeah, so... The, uh, the tabs that hold the, the back knot in seems to be uh, not effective, so uh, we're going to have to do a bit of uh, remedial work there with a hammer. <gasps> what do you mean? I hope you're not going to damage it. Quite not possibly. Never raced or rallied. A bit of percussion maintenance. I was told never to do use a screwdriver for that. Which is why. We've been we've been disturbed now. It's all right. We had a bit of an issue with a straight edge earlier today. It's left under the ramp. It's no longer straight. Is that working? No, it's not working at all. Uh, oh right. Well, we're just going to pause. Okay. Slight break. We've, uh, we've, we've come back. Managed with, uh, to undo okay. that. So um, on this modified car, we've put a, an external electric water pump. So it impedes on the on the brake union. So it sort of impeded us getting it out. So what we've done now, we're going to take off the union here, and then we can undo the lock nut and uh, proceed. Right. So we're taking off the brake pipe. Of 
Of course, when we were fitting the water pump, we didn't pay any attention to the fact that we might have to get to the brake parts one day, so... Um, down to 40% battery. <laughs> it might be some time. I hope this doesn't affect the paint. No more than you're driving. They're stone chips. <laughs> Right, I'll try and hold that out of the way for you. Oh, look at that. We should have done the John Noakes bit, had this all loosened. Uh, I did. <laughs> Here's one I loosened earlier. Here's one I, loosened. I might leave him loose. Uh, Easy next time. Rather you didn't. Hopefully there won't be a next time. For a while. Mm. So um, we have a bit of a problem getting the old uh, caliper and brake pipe out. Um, as I showed you, the uh, water pump sort of got in the way and also the, the union was seized on the end of the brake pipe. So we have to uh, do a bit of a jiggery pokery. So now new caliper's going on with new braided hose. Um, we've got a lot knot on the end of the brake pipe. So we're just going to pass that through the hole and put the lot knot on the end from the other side. Can't really see that. Apart from Matt's hairy arm. <laughs> so we'll have to take his words there, out. Can we see where the lock knot fits? Oh yeah, no. So we'll wind that thread all the way down. And uh, we fit the brake pipe, hopefully. While Matt's been doing that, I've started to dismantle this side. And in fact, the, uh, the hub's ready to pull off there. So uh, we'll uh, come back to that one. But, uh, so we're connecting up the, the cable, the flexible cable. Rated hose. Hose, that's it. Air Equip. Or s similar approved products. But they've been very good. Be, um, so. A good sort of time to talk about brake fluid. What, what brake fluid are you using this um, I think it's blue. <laughs> Blue fluid. Let's have a look. Let's go over and have a look. Old mass. Oh, it looks blue, doesn't it? From where it's leaking out the top. I could do some advice on how on earth you stop it leaking. But uh, yeah. It's uh, so that's all right in there. Just clean that up. It does pressurise and then drips through into the footwell. I probably ought to look at getting a new pedal box at some stage, but uh, given our races are normally only about 20 minutes, it's not a major issue at the moment. But moving forward, that'll be the next expense. So you about tightened up there, Matt? Uh, we're getting there. <laughs> So this is this is extremely boring. So I think I'm going to stop again. So we've finally got the uh, the brake pipes reconnected. So as you can see, we've got two sort of uh, not apertures, if you like. Don't need to touch this at all. This is already tight with the new with the new caliper assembly. The inner inner one we do need to get on to though. So when we're um, refitting it, first of all, there's a lock nut on there. Let me just get the other uh, one to show you. You can see. Uh, so there's a lock nut as it fits through. Push this through the body and then we lock, screw the nut on and lock it up. So this is 9 16 or, or 15 mil if you have got off that. So what we need to do, we need to tighten this first. So we have to hold it here and then tighten that from the inside. So if we go back to the car now, we can see the lock nut is on the inside. Yeah. So we're going to hold it on the, on the inside, tighten the lock nut up and then comes to the brake pipe. So again, we have to hold it, come around here, hold it with a spanner or a pair of mold grips on the, on the inner nut there. And, and tighten up from the outside. And tighten the, the brake union up 
from the inside there. Okay, so that's it's all bit, done then now. It's a bit now. tricky, particularly because we've got the water pump in the way. That's all done now, so we can uh, proceed to fit, uh, fit the brake disc and the caliper. So I'm just going to send the ramp up a little bit so it just makes it a bit more comfortable. New against the old, so that should uh, provide a little more retardation. Okay. <coughs> Right, so we'll fit the disc onto the new hub. Line it up. Right, we've got the failing me. There we go. Okay, and then a rebolt new caliper. Oh, that was lucky. Just chuck that on the floor. Just missed the uh, drip tray. That planned. Christmas, all these new parcels. No. And tear it open, just like on Christmas morning. New bolts and washers come in the kit, so I'm going to proceed to fit them in there. What's that on the side of the disc? Sorry? Delph 23 something. Delphi is the maker of this. The dimensions. And I think there's a minimum thickness there as well. Yeah, there's a minimum thickness of the disc. So when it comes to MIT time, we can uh, check all that. Check all that. They're all going in. Nice and smooth. Now, one thing I wanted to check at the back of the caliper, just coming around, on some of the uh, Kits, the pads stick proud of the disc and they end up with a bit of a lip but in this case you can see that the disc is coming all the way through the pad so uh, that won't be an issue all right. there you go I've obviously done my bit I've got a washer so uh, yeah that all looks very nice I'll come out of your way. Might as well stop this again. 